Hey, welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom. I'm your host, Paul Markle. And for a moment, we're going to talk about universal safety rules, firearm safety rules, and where to point your gun. Okay, universal safety rules apply everywhere in the known universe, not just on the range, not just in the classroom. They apply in your bedroom, in your car, on the street, everywhere there's a gun and you at the same time those rules all apply. Okay, number one, treat every gun as if it's always loaded all the time. Really super simple. However, how many times do you hear people say things like, oh, it's okay, it's not loaded. All right, knucklehead, that's not an excuse. It's not okay for you to point that thing at me because you think it's not loaded. No excuse. So, but you say, well, how can we dry practice? How can we clean our guns? How can we do things like that administratively if we're always treating it like it's loaded? Okay, asterisk. Treat all guns as if they're always loaded until you have verified by two independent means, whether that's two human beings checking it or you as one human being both visually and physically inspecting it. Okay, if you've done that, then it's okay to clean it, dry fire it, all that jazz. All right, number two, keep your finger off the trigger until your sights are on the target and you've made the decision to fire. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the A number one most violated firearm safety rule. Why? I don't know. Because for whatever reason, that really cool soft shape of the trigger makes people want to put their fingers on it. Here's the deal, Sparky. If you don't want that gun to go bang, get your stinking booger hook off of it. All right? It's not a finger rest. It is a trigger. It is meant to make the gun go bang. If you don't want the gun to go bang right now at this moment in time, get your freaking finger off it. Enough said. All right, number three. Never let the muzzle cover anything you are not willing to destroy or put a bullet into. Now, a lot of people say that you do not plan to shoot. Well, here's the deal. In the world, the muzzle always has to be pointed at something, whether it's up, down, sideways, whatever. It's always got to be pointed at something. But the big question is, if this gun in my hand were to go bang right now, would anything on the other end bleed? It's a yes or no question. And if the answer is yes, oh, if this gun were to go bang right now, something on the other end would bleed, you better be asking yourself, why are you pointing a gun at it? Because if you're pointing a gun at something that you're not supposed to make bleed, you're doing wrong. So, number three, never point the muzzle at anything that you're not willing to destroy or to put a bullet into. All right. Uh, number four is real simple, but we always forget about it. It's know your target, what's around it, and what's beyond it. Why is that? Well, it's because bullets don't always go exactly in the X-ring like you wanted them to. And even sometimes when they do go in the X-ring, they plow right on through that target and keep going. So, know your target, what's around it, and what's beyond it. Now, these are universal safety rules. They apply everywhere. They apply on the range. They apply in the real world, in your bedroom, in your car, wherever. All right. Now, let's talk about muzzle direction. People get all bunged up about muzzle direction. If you're talking about a pistol, as soon as that thing gets out of the holster, you got to point it somewhere. Okay, it has to be pointed somewhere. Okay, we live in a 360 degree world. Now, if you only shoot on a known distance slow fire range where the gun is sitting on the bench, you pick the gun up off the bench, you shoot your target, you immediately put it back down on the bench and you walk away from the gun. If you do that, you know what, and that's all you ever do with the gun, you can go ahead and skip to the end of this video because this doesn't apply to you. But for the rest of you that actually have to hold a firearm in your hand when it's loaded, when it's actually dangerous, and you have to not point it at things that shouldn't be shot. The fact of the matter is, on planet Earth right now where you live, there are more things that should not be shot than there are things that should be. So how do we avoid doing that? Well, if I pull my gun out and I've done shooting, 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 and I need to check what's going on around me, you say, well, why would you ever want to turn around? Well, here's the deal, Sparky. If you ever have to use a gun in the real world, not just on a cold range, but in the real world, there's going to be stuff and people moving on around you. And chances are that wherever you are, that someone who you love or care about is with you too. You might want to find out where that person is. And the only way to do that in the oh, heavy adrenaline dump of a lethal force encounter is to actually turn your whole head and your eyeballs all around and see what's going on around you. Now, while you're doing that, what do you do with your pistol? Do you point it up or down, or you just hold it at your chest 
parallel to the deck and then muzzle sweep every person in the area. Well, number three, muzzle sweeping every person in the area is a bad idea and I would recommend against it. All right, some people will say, muzzle down, muzzle down, muzzle down, always muzzle down. Okay, that's cool if you can guarantee me that there's never anything below waist level that you shouldn't point a gun at. Now, what if you have a two or three year old or four year old child and the boogeyman came out and daddy had to kill the boogeyman because boogeyman is a crackhead and he wanted to rob and hurt daddy. Well, where is the little four-year-old Jimmy or Susie or whatever? They're wrapped around your left leg or your right leg. Should you muzzle the head of your beloved child? Mm, I'm guessing no. I'm guessing you probably don't want to put a cock 1911 over the top of your three-year-old child's head. Well, guess what, Sparky? If all you've ever done your entire life is muzzle down when it's, shit hits the fan and it's time to do it, what you're going to do is you're going to muzzle down, you're going to sweep the crown of your little beloved child's head and go, ooh, I really shouldn't be doing this. Well, no freaking kidding. But you've trained yourself like a robot to only do that. Now, what about muzzle up? Is muzzle up always a good direction? Not always. Okay, two-story house, my children are upstairs, the boogeyman's outside, I'm downstairs securing the house. Should I be pointing the muzzle of the gun up towards my children's bedrooms? Probably not, all right? But you need to know what's going on around you at all times, and you need to be conscious enough to make the correct decision. Should I point the gun up or should I point the gun down? Now, given our on-the-street situation where we had to use a gun to slay a bad guy or to scare a bad guy away or whatever, a lot of times you're not even slaying them. You just pull the gun out and you say stop, and they're like, whoops, I'm out of here, and they run away. Okay, does that mean they don't have a couple of partners hanging out in the background? You don't know it. You need to figure out what's going on around you, so you got to turn around. Well, there's going to be a lot more things. Let's say we're in a parking lot of a restaurant or a hotel or whatever. There's going to be a whole lot more things down that you shouldn't shoot at than there are going to be up. Most of the time, when you're out in the world, up is just the sky. Okay, and down is everything else. So you better think about that, and you better think about where your gun's pointed. And if you're one of those people that says, down is always right, or if you're one of those people that say, up is always right, you're wrong. Because the fact of the matter is, you operate in a 360 degree world, and you need to be able to know and tell at all times, where's the correct way to point your gun. So, down is not always right, up is not always right. What's right is you thinking with a gun in your hand and doing the correct thing. So, if you want to learn more, you want to do more with Student of the Gun, go to studentofthegun.com. Check out studentofthegun.com slash university for more training for us. And if you like our affiliates or our sponsors, make sure you check them out too. So, studentofthegun.com. Go there now.